So let's see what it's called. On the Request. template, that map in the corner is yep. it a map of the game? Yes, that that was yeah. uh, that came along with the the game when I bought it. So uh, ah, okay, yeah. I so you were giving some cheating with some extra clues. There. No, no, no. That that's uh, supposedly that was in the box back in the day. I'm okay. not sure if it was a cloth map or what it was, but uh, it was there at least. So I love so. stuff like that. So when you when you when you bought your Dos Gaming PC, Matt, did you did you buy a kind of setup or did you build it yourself? Um, actually, I think most of the stuff that is in it right now was there already. I think I changed the. I had I had a, a different sound card lying around, but uh, most of it was just in there. I mean, it it is a DOS gaming machine, so I don't even know what the graphic card is because uh, it's not something I use for 3D accelerated stuff or anything like that. So uh, it's it's for the old DOS games, and it works perfectly for all that uh, early 90s and late 80s stuff, which is what I like to play. So uh, yeah. it was just something actually quite cheap. Uh, about a year ago, I bought it on eBay. So, yeah. yeah. I do. The only thing you need is uh, you need to get your hands on a Sound Blaster uh, Ave 32 mm -hmm. or a Sound Blaster 16 because that's the best supported for all these old titles. Yeah. One thing I'd really love though is uh, you know the Roland uh, MT32. Have you ever ever heard yeah. any one of, any of those? I oh, remember yeah. it being on the config, the the options that yeah. you could always choose a Roland, but I never had one. Go check out the uh, different uh, YouTube videos of where people actually play with not the emulated but the real hardware there. That's a beautiful, beautiful MIDI sound that you get. get you get sound that you th wouldn't think was possible at that time. So I but noticed through looking through the manual this afternoon um, that when it was uh, I actually read the install instructions yeah. and on the Atari ST it said you can output through the MIDI. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to have the sound, you know, playing through some MIDI playback device. And it does here, it, it does, uh, I, I do s seem to recall it, uh, it has Roland MT32 support as well. Mm. But there's not much sound in this game, so uh, you wouldn't be losing a lot, but uh, no. there are some other titles. You, you check out some YouTube videos, it's an awesome device. So, it, it seems like this fingerprint, according to my map here, is Fifi. Let's try her. Let's yes, okay, so the <laughs> intro should be starting. The game sound will probably be quite low because I wanted your voices to be audible as well. So, have you previously attended? No, no, no. We want to watch all of it. It's kind of weird actually because we can hear you speaking about what's happening, and then about ten seconds later, it happens on our screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So what is this VGA graphics, or have anybody looked that up? It's not VGA, that's for sure. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like VGA graphics. No, it's, it's not VGA. It's definitely EGA, or it, it isn't CGA. That's only four calls or something like that, isn't it? Very <laughs> dramatic introduction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thematic music too. So as, as we can see here, it's a uh, it's a real old share title. So uh, Ken and Roberta Williams have done most of the work. And something that sets this apart, it says in the manual from lots of other games, is that it's set like uh, like a stage play. It's got eight acts, and it's yeah. it's, it's all in this uh, same house, or at least on the same island, right? Mm. Yeah. What what I didn't realise, and what I, I had a little look on Wikipedia, was that it was part of a series of games. That was the Laura Bow yeah, mystery exactly. yep. series, and was, is it the Dagger of Amun Ra? Yeah, that's the is second instalment. Yeah. Sequel? Mm -hmm. Which I've never, I've never even heard of. I'd heard the name, but I've never played any of these games. So. I, I'm a huge adventure game fan, but not yeah. really a huge Shira fan, really. Um, so I've, I've played, of course, I played the Larry games uh, because I had to. I was a teenager, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> and I only played a bit of Space Quest and King's Quest. Never, never really got into them. 
Yeah, I did never like the idea of points. It just seemed to be, it just didn't seem right that you had this idea of points in an adventure. Even when I was younger, it just didn't like mm. the idea that you had to score points. I didn't mind the points. What, am I, what I didn't like was the unwinnable states. That was uh, yeah. unforgivable, I think. Judging from their close, it's uh, the twenties. Yes. So I've got the manual. I've got my. I've got two monitors set up now. So I've mm. got my manual and my Discord chat on the on the one, and I've just got your stream on the other. <laughs> so you, you're going to find a hint book for us. <laughs> YouTube on the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I remember about this game when it, from from playing it when I was very young was it's, just, it's, it's got an incredible sense of place and, and time, you know, it really does the purring of stuff well. Yeah. Even that kind of outline on that image there, it's kind of like the, the silent movie kind of border style. Yeah. Yeah. I I found this bit kind of because even though I haven't watched the video, it uh, it plays, it gives you the script of what happens in this opening scene in the in the manual, and whenever it refers to the guy that's kind of like sailing the boat, it just refers to him as the black man in yeah, big capital letters. <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> of its time. Yep, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, well, we have at least one viewer who's just posted a uh, uh, a message saying that, uh, that someone is actually playing this game. I've forgotten. I followed this game. Oh, great. Well, welcome. <laughs> so what we're going doing right now is trying to play it and see if we can figure out what to do. We don't really know it, so... Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my notebook. It's good. I've, I've got two things that I've written in it so far. The one is Parrot. So I reckon he's got a clue to, uh, you know, he's yep. got to be a bit of a blabber now. Yes. And the other one is just the, the colonel's surname. And I just wondered, actually, because they called him, you know, his last name is Dijon. Yeah. And Dijon. I thought, ah, Dijon Mustard. So Mustard. That, he's kind of like the Colonel Mustard character of this this story. And I started thinking, oh, I'm thinking too much about this game. <laughs> <laughs> So he's got his family together here. It's one of those games I always remember, and, and from reading back on it, it's kind of one of those games that isn't known for its puzzles, but it's known for its characters and its, and its story. So, mm. I mean, hopefully even, even we should be able to, to get through the puzzles to help. I'm interested by the whole time clock thing with this game. Yeah. I mean, like in the manual it says obviously record the times that things happen and they'll give you clues. And yeah. Even if you search the entire room from top to bottom, it might have changed yeah, when you certain, come back in. So it's, oh, great. Yeah, certain <laughs> events happen at certain times. I remember that. Yeah. And people move around as well, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm. And you can look through keyholes, and I think if you get caught looking through keyholes, then they might not be in that room again or something like that. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> But at least I think I read somewhere that there's there are no uh, unwinnable states in this one. Is that no. true, or you can't die though? One. Okay. I think there's uh, yeah, I think there's one or two. I think you can die by falling through a trapdoor or something. I remember. But apart from, I think there's two uh, two bits where you can die. Yeah. Okay. Regular size, man. So that's what we need. Regular mm. size. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I think it was F5, wasn't it? dinners on a Sunday. <laughs> I 
I don't know what the relationship is between Laura and their friend there, but uh, so they go to school both. together. That's that's it, oh, okay. I think. Yep. So it's seven o'clock, Act One. The graphics hmm. are great, aren't they? I mean, for such a and you know, for an eighties game, it's so colourful. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. So a. Bit of backstory. Um, it says in the manual that the Laura, our our protagonist here, I, her dad is a police officer. Oh, she's thinking of him right now. Okay, there we go. Mm. That's her dad. Yep. <laughs> okay. So this is an old DOS game. So of course they were. Um, the keyboard controls and they but this game had mouse controls as well so I'm going to mm. try using those first and I guess we will have to write, type in some some uh, commands as well lots of commands but you can move around and you can uh, look at stuff oh and once again it says we have to take notes so <laughs> it was a very advanced mouse controls because they actually had the right clicking as well if I right click something uh, she's going to look at it When I had a quick go on this the other day, I didn't realize that when you're walking, you have to press the walk button and then let it go. Yeah. So it's like moving with the mouse. <laughs> then I was holding down the button to move. and so You're tap dancing. Weird, yeah. yeah. It's weird kind of <laughs> shuffle across the floor. So as an adventure game, I already want to open these dressers. But, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> open every drawer. There's on. nothing in it. How many times do you need to be told? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What do you got over here? So guys, uh, pitch in and tell me what you want me to do. Um, that's well, my I will suitcase. be doing exactly what you're doing. What's <laughs> that thing? You, on? What's that on the bed? A picture on the wall. So let's see. Look at suitcase. Um, open. There we go. The clothes I packed for this weekend. Okay, she closed it again. Yes, I did look at the picture of the colonel, if that's what you mean. Okay, sorry, I was just. I uh, can just look at it again. Here you go. So. Here you go. Okay, I'm guessing you read it now. I'm not sure how delayed you guys are. It's about ten seconds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it looks good on the stream. Looks right. Nice here on the on the the old DOS computer. It looks really good. Okay. So follow. Can we follow our mate into the bathroom? I think we can, can't we? That sounds dodgy as hell. Let, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can. This is not Legacy Larry. Okay, I'm back to keyboard <laughs> controls now because the, the mouse controls were a bit off. So here we go. This is the back upstairs hallway of the mansion. Okay. It's not much sound when you're not yeah. in the. Okay, here we go. She didn't lock the door. Okay. Yeah, I think one of the things I remember about this, and I've read about it since, is that they their attitude towards our protagonist changes if you que if they if they think that you're questioning them too fiercely. So yeah. then you have to be careful about what you say. Okay. Yeah, it did say in the manual that they had the differences between if you say tell somebody or ask somebody. Uh, uh, that yeah. They've got all that. Yeah, it's quite well. like for its time, it's quite sophisticated in in how it it deals with stuff like that. Yeah, it's kind of really surprises you when stuff like that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what? We just found a bug in the game already. I was standing in her path when she started walking towards me, and now I'm caught. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's I bad. I one. I can't press anything. Let's see, F five. That's the menu. Hmm. I'm sure you have the menu there, right? There was yes. a, there was a, a key for restarting that chapter, and we just started the chapter, so perhaps that's what we should do. Uh, just flicking through there. F5 is that's save. Um, restore save game. Restart yeah, we... game from the beginning. Okay, let's do that. What's that? Uh, F9. There we go. Start. <laughs> it's 
Good okay. Start. Yeah. <laughs> Ken and Roberta. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're back in the room. But let's not follow our mates into the bathroom, whatever we do. Yeah, yeah. Clearly not a good idea. <laughs> let's try to open these drawers then. If I think if you. Uh, oh, I can't think now. When I tested the game, uh, I didn't go out of this room, but I tried to open. Uh, the the other girl's suitcase on the bed. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't know whether she came back or whether it said I better not do that. So. Let's try it. Let's see. I have to get close enough, I guess. I think oh, the characters. I got the manual up, but I'm trying to understand the character names because uh, I'm really. Bad Lillian's with suitcase is locked. It says. Yeah. So let's try to go into this room then. I okay. just play Timber Wee Park. My my eyes are drawn to the fireplace. I'm <laughs> to find some black soot or something. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got Ethel in here. That's Lillian's mother, as far as I remember. Yes. Hmm. Not very talkative. Okay. <laughs> so it said in the manual the first thing you should do in any room was say look around. So look around, look. yeah. Mm. Nursery. Okay. I presume those are meant to be blinds on those windows to the right. Yeah. But the window that's closest to like our perspective looks like it's I've been smashed up or falling down. <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> so we probably shouldn't search this room right now when she's no, in it, I guess. She's in there, yeah. yeah, let's get out of here. So, uh, judging from the intro, I guess somebody is about to get murdered. But uh, yes. I don't know who, so that will be exciting to see. Do you really not know who? Do you think no, would they just killed... I the... can't remember who either. But I, I was okay. thinking... Well, if if one of the heirs die, they have to split uh, that heir's money as well. So perhaps it's it's one of the heirs. <laughs> I'm not sure. So presu presumably, it's, is it the the, the old um, Colonel Dijon? Is it? It I probably is, it probably is him. But uh, I guess somebody else could be killed as well because then they'd get more money. <laughs> Mad, you're very uh, Machiavelli. Character <laughs> coming out. <laughs> it was just uh, the way it was uh, phrased in the. In the conversation around the table, so I thought it was, uh, it, it sounded that way. So let's just have a look here as well. Not open suitcase. I have to remember, you just have to start typing. If you press um, space, you get the last command. This is the back okay. upstairs hallway of the mansion. Okay. Anything you want me to take a look at? Uh, just have what a look at the, What about the wardrobes? Or are they wardrobes? Whatever they are. Cupboards? Yeah. The cats. I can try and right click them, then I can see armories. Are there any other exits in this room? Is that a door on the left there as well? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it could I be. I think one of them goes into the colonel's room. Let's try. Oh, yeah. There we go. Armoire. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> We've all got an armoire or two. <laughs> oh, no, I was just we? Never heard that word before. Oh, and then the first 15 minutes we spent those. So that will happen whenever we enter his room, I guess. That's what the manual said. We have to note down when the, the clock changes. Ooh, he's got an affair with that young man. <laughs> I've there. got a proper kind of like top flip notepad here. The only thing I'm missing is the magnifying glasses and the uh, the detective's hat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be from this era, so it wouldn't fit anyway. So. Let's just what talk is she to do? What's she doing? She's cleaning the room, I guess. Surprised he hasn't had a heart attack by now. <laughs> look, at the look at the animation with the woman <laughs> cleaning the fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> it clearly, it's dusty. So let's talk to her then. She was called Fifi, right? Mm. Stand still. Come on. Ah! I can't catch her. <laughs> if you want, I can read what it says about Fifi. Yeah. A profile in the yeah, manual. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah. Fifi is the Colonel's sexy French maid. Ooh, it's yeah. rumored that she <laughs> and the Colonel are involved in a relationship of a somewhat more than domestic nature. Oh. Most of 
the family are of the opinion that Fifi is using the colonel to get to his money. But okay. it says, it pretty much in the manual, it looks like anybody could be a suspect, which kind of fits with the game. Really? So there's an elevator in here. Should we try that? Or do you want to yeah, try the what, door? What happens if you say something like, ask Colonel about Fifi? Or... Yeah, let's do that. Because you but... don't really get much, do you, if you just say, talk to Colonel? Or oh, talk that to may Fifi. be the problem. That's why they don't mm. talk to me. I'm just used to adventure games where you start talking yeah, and then you get choices. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. Uh, ask. Oh, if only if it was made by Lipitar. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says, I don't pay much attention to the woman. Mm, that likely story. Yeah, <laughs> we know you. We know you, Dijon. We've oh, got hello. your car park. <laughs> so I'm going to ask him about, uh, was she, she called Lillian? Yes. yes. No, Fifi. Yeah. No, I asked him about Fifi. Li but yeah. Lillian's our friend, isn't she? With two L's or one? What, with two? That'll be two. I'm going to have to get the manual up twice here because I'm <laughs> flicking all over the place. That's, that's it. Okay, he seems a bit <laughs> grumpy. Oh, well. Let, let's see what happens in the elevator. Yeah, let's do that. Use elevator. It says you don't have it. Mm, open. <laughs> elevator. Have you seen the list of keywords? Stay in the out of my elevator. <laughs> oh, he's a grumpy old man. Hmm. He deserves to be killed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah. Push, Colonel. <laughs> Into elevator. <laughs> Out window. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Tip up, Colonel. No, that's really cruel. <laughs> so this is the doctor's room. Ooh, oh, yeah. do you know that? Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it says so here. Yeah. He, I have the yeah. advantage of being, being uh, 10 seconds oh, in the future. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Oh, I, I reckon there's probably something. This is the first room we've been in that nobody's there apart from our own. So, so there's a. Hmm. hmm. What about the what about the drawers? What yeah, let's try those. Things? I think well, she just refused to open the bag because it wasn't hers. So maybe she won't. Yeah. Uh... She's really dull. <laughs> Have you never played an adventure game before, woman? Come on. <laughs> okay, she did open the drawer though. So, what else have we got? We'd like to look at. I'm gonna try right-clicking stuff as well because yeah. that's probably easier for object identification. So, or presumably, crates. if we go back into the kernel's room, it's gonna advance the time by 15 minutes again. I'm not sure. It could have been just the first time, but let's see. The first kind of yeah. So she doesn't want to take the doctor's bag right now. Maybe when she needs something oh, later on. I tried that. So that's handy. So so if you right click on something, it automatically kind of examines. Yeah, it. yeah. For object recognition, that would be good. But for the rest, it seems that it's easier yeah. to control with the um, with the keyboard. So. Okay. There are some crates. Should we look at the crates? Let's see. Are those the crates at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. No, she doesn't really say anything about them. Okay. You can normally discount things in the foreground, can't you? On the yeah, that's true. Games. That's true. So let's go back then. You have that? Looking at the yeah. manual and like how you you kind of like interact in this game, I thought it it kind of like it's almost a little bit vague and like what to do, what to type, kind of very much yeah. leads <laughs> you to decide what to do. Hmm. Yeah. Fifi's doing some odd rain dance around. <laughs> So, where do you want to go? Should we head back and see if yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 15 minutes has passed, of course. Uh, yes, that's true. Yeah. Living go back in the, the bathroom, perhaps? Perhaps. I think if you go back, I oh, think they're talking on, uh, in the other room where you first started. Yeah, there That's as far as I got before I switched oh, it off. Oh, here we so. go. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so maybe... Hands at the ready. Let's talk again, then. Let's just say talk first, and then ask about the kernel or Fifi or something like that. Ask. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. What was the mother called again? Ethel. 
Ethel, that's it. Okay, it doesn't say when you say it, just look. Um, should we ask her about the Colonel and Fifi as well? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ask her about Lillian. That could be interesting. <laughs> yeah, while she's here. <laughs> <laughs> she's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys have a technique to playing point and click games, but when I played them back in the day, it always used to get to a stage where I'd get stuck and then I'd just be trying a combination of everything yeah. that yes. I had or every yeah. other keyword with everything in the house, you know, like talk yeah. to clock about yeah. yes. know, the murder. <laughs> yeah. But that, that yeah. uh, works best when it's a point and click interface with, with yeah. an inventory because something like this, you can try everything. So there's yeah. actually an inventory as well and we do have a notebook and a pencil right now, just so you know. Do, do we, uh, presumably we've got nothing in the inventory. Yeah, we've got a notebook and a pencil. Oh, okay, okay. So now... Ethel is not in this room. Maybe I can have a yeah, look around. Let's just try. I was, at e I was at EGX Res today and I was playing this 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 indie point and click. Yeah. And uh, and and I was stuck in this room for ages. And in the end, the developer had to come and tell me what to do. I think I was just getting on his nerves. <laughs> <He> <laughs> said, you just need to use that in the. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So what was, what was the game? It was a game. Hang on, let me just go. I've got the I've got the flyer in the other room. Had it already been released, or was it still? No, it's, it's, no, it's out in June, so it's pretty much finished. He said it's called Unforeseen Incidents, and it was a detective point and click. Okay. So the the blurb says a classical style interactive mystery set in a beautifully hand painted world. Join half a pencil experience, a challenging investigation, smart dialogue, and rich cast of characters in this thrilling new adventure game. Yeah. It, it, I, it, I followed the developer on Twitter. It looks, it looks really good. I played it for about half an hour, and uh, yeah, like a kind of detective. Each kind of chapter is another murder that you have to go in and sort of, yeah. So it reminds me of this uh, Switch game I played recently, Dark Side Detective. I guess that was its name. That's pretty good actually. Oh, I have to look that up. So guys, before anyway, I leave this room, Kelsey, should I uh, should I ask these uh, Lillian or Ethel about anything, or is there anything you'd what like to do here? What happened in Ethel's room? Sorry, Matt. I'm oh, nothing really. Um, I, she wasn't. Uh, she she didn't want to open anything or take anything, no. so I just left again. That's frustrating when it's you know. So you we've asked about you... Lillian. We've asked about Fifi. Yep. We asked about the Colonel. Ask about the family. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm keeping these sentences uh, simple, so I think it understands it. Mm. <laughs> ah, she's uh, responding about the pictures, I think, on the wall. Ah. Let's see, I'm going to ask Ethel the same thing. Oh, oh, okay. there's a big delay here, <laughs> so <laughs> it's hard to scroll through the text. I like the interface, though. It's nice that you can uh, reuse and just uh, slightly alter mm. commands. Yeah. <laughs> a what? A crouton? <laughs> so he's called Dijon, and uh, the family is called the croutons, or what? <laughs> So I'm going outside now, or at least away from the rooms. What, what about the bathroom? I know. Oh I'm yeah, sure, sure. Bathroom, yeah, I know. There's oh, something, uh, something about you in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I seem to remember there was something in the bathroom. We could pick up a toothbrush or something. Okay. Let's see. I'll start by just saying, look around. Which you'll probably just. I didn't realize I could move into the foreground like you just did. Oh, yeah, you hmm. can. Uh, she doesn't want to look at the sink. Let's just right click some stuff then. There's a hand towel. Do we need that? Uh, just pick up everything that is at nailed down, is what it says in the manual. So, Get oh. towel. You don't need a towel. No. <laughs> oh, we we might need it at some point. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's much there, does there? Just gonna look in the waste basket, and it's empty right now. But oh, that that look sounds like it may not be in the future. 
Yeah. Currently, it is empty. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I dare say, but do we need to have a look at the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. Toilet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can do that. You're not close enough. I'm, I'm standing on top of it almost. <laughs> Come on. Okay. She flushes the toilet. Excellent. Okay. Let's uh, let's do let's go there. Nice. They thought about that. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that comment. <laughs> I love that. Brilliant. Did you get the Larry reference now? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And she goes to wash her hands. Oh, very good. Brilliant. I like when they do this. And she takes the towel. Cool. But she does keep the towel, though. That's a nice little detail. So they knew that uh, we couldn't resist trying to use the toilet. <laughs> oh. It makes me think of some of the games back in the day where they knew that you'd get bored and start typing in swear words. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like programming replies to certain things. Yeah. So, what do you think? Should we go upstairs? Uh, go up the stairs to the right, I reckon. Okay, I will. That door looks a bit suspicious to the left as well, doesn't it? Mm. That's what we got here. We got the doorway in front of us and another one to the right. Okay, we're just catching up with you. The third staircase Open door? Nope, oh, it's locked. Yeah. Let's try the other one then. Ah, Fifi's room. I'm gonna start right-clicking stuff here. <laughs> hmm. What about the gramophone? There's a Victorola, yeah. We can have a look, see if there are any records on. A picture is a picture. You see nothing of interest. <laughs> yeah. I have to put you down in this game, don't I? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no. feels like the game's getting bored of us. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you clicking everything? Yeah. Stop clicking me. You remember, uh, what, what is it, Warcraft? The first Warcraft yeah. game, when you click the peons too many times, they'd be yeah. whining about Brilliant. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that blue thing? Am I just... Mm. just not what is that blue thing that leads... Victorola is not called a Victorola. It's called a... It a Victrola. Ah. I don't know. Ugh, oh, come on. Almost look. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no records or anything. So you say there's a room play. back here? Oh yeah, I can try to play it, of course. Good idea. Oh, I'm not really good friends with the interface right now. Here we go. The record doesn't belong to you. She's such a goody two shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she is. I think she did it. <laughs> Should we head downstairs? Yep. Let's. Yeah. Let's. Oh, hang on. Where are we going? Or we can go. Um... Where is she? What is that thing? Are they just like two swing doors out onto the balcony? Perhaps um, like a walk-in closet or. Not sure. Mm. Shoot, you want to try to go downstairs or? Yeah, let's. Let's try to go downstairs. What about the door there, Mads? What did, have th you tried to open that? No, I haven't. I'll try it. You're not close. I'm standing right in front of the door. Okay, that worked. It's just an empty closet, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, the big T's. <laughs> Oh, well, so, something's going to happen in there, isn't it, at some point? I thought a giant dagger just appeared in the corner of the room then and realised it was your mouse cursor, the cursor right? on the screen. I okay, let's have a look around here. Ooh. I don't know how much investigating we need to do before the murder. Oh, that's all true. murders, if there's more than one, I don't know. Yeah, right now we should probably just go around and talk to people about the colonel, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, think we should like do that and then uh, go into detail later on. Yeah, it feels like we just bide in time until the murder happens. Okay, let's um, just walk around and talk to people then, see what they're doing. Okay.
Okay, some time passed here. The belly of Britain. Yeah. So these are the siblings, I guess. Right? You mm -hmm. have the, the manual there? Yeah. So Lil Lillian's... Uh, Rudolph, I presume, is the one on the right. Because he's got black hair. <laughs> Rudy? <laughs> Rick Flair on the left, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who the guy on the left is. No. It's his sister? Yeah, isn't Christ. it his sister? I think it is. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Look. Back Gloria. Yeah, so. Let's the same again. Uh, so she's called Gloria? So, uh, Rudolph on the right is Rudy is Gertrude's son, Gloria's yep. brother, and the Colonel's nephew. He gives the impression of being a little too slick. Rudy is known as a gambler, a womanizer, and a lush. A lush? Uh, they say he's <laughs> never worked an honest day in his life. And is that Gloria on the left? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yes. Uh, Gertie's daughter and the Colonel's niece, an aspiring actress, Gloria. Gloria enjoys the glamorous Hollywood lifestyle. She's a beautiful platinum blonde and loves money, jewelry, and rich boyfriends. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> so I've asked them about the Colonel and uh, Fifi and uh, Lillian now. I'm just going to go through the different people, see if we can make them say something interesting. What was the time when we entered this room? You went to 7.30? Seven. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Rudy here. Ask. Nope, don't. They don't like Echo, do they? No, they don't. Mm. I'm just gonna mute my mic for a sec, I'll be back in two minutes. Yeah, no worries. Let's see what he thinks about the colonel. Have you asked him about Fifi yet, man? Nope, that's the last one. I need. I asked uh, Gloria about her. They don't seem to like her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He likes her. <laughs> I bet you he does. Hmm. She's a looker, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we got up here? A lovely dark haired girl. Ah, so are you reading the description of the picture right now? I'm sure if we want to overlook something, we can go into the other room, the adjacent room, and look through those eyes. Should, yeah. Should we try that just for fun? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm, I reckon. I think this game is more about kind of observing conversations, talking to people, than it is about picking up and solving puzzles and things like that. Okay. Hmm. So we're in the library now. And who's that sitting there? Ah, uh, this is where we need Blake back. Yeah, Blake with do. his manual. <laughs> so the butler's here. Let's see if we can find that painting. I can't see it. It should be on on this wall that I'm looking at right now. Yeah. Let's see. Look. What yeah. about w there's another there's another doorway there on the left, isn't it? Yeah, there is. But it should oh up on the wall yeah. opposite the fireplace. So look at, look at that. Look at that. Two minutes. Um, we went into we we looked at the the painting in the billiard room. Yeah. Uh, and uh, its eyes were hollow looking. So uh -huh. now I'm looking at this other wall. Yeah. You can't see the painting, but there's a picture of a of a bloodhound there. Mm. So it's yeah. got said that the picture of the colonel in the first room had hollow eyes as well, so I presume there's a lot of peeking going on. Peep holes. Yeah. Look through holes? Yeah, not look through painting at least. You see hmm. Look through holes in painting. Look through eyes? You can't do that. Hmm. Look through eyes? Oh, don't stop, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, she doesn't use it. She just <laughs> says it looks hollow. Hmm. Okay, let's try it. Let's see. Uh, who's this guy like? 
Who have we got here? Uh, the guy in the white. Yeah, I'm just gonna say talk. No. Uh, that could be. Oops. Talk. I think that's the doctor. I'm not sure. I'm Dr. gonna say Wilbus. talk to man, see what happens. Dr. <laughs> Wilbur C. Fields. Okay. Do you reckon I've done that on purpose? Dr. Fields. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You look very nice and very, very nice indeed. He's not creepy, is he? <laughs> yes. Dr. Fields is the Colonel's longtime personal physician. Okay. He's known for his lecherous ways and his questionable medical practices. <laughs> Dirty old man. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask him about different people again now. Yeah, I think that's the thing to do. He's dodgy. So we've heard the different people talk about Lillian having some problems, so we'll probably have to ask her about that at some point. We don't know about any problems, do we? Yeah, I don't think I've read out the profile for Lillian, so let's read that out now. Yeah. So Lillian is uh, Laura's college classmate. Obviously, Laura Bow is the character that we're playing now. Yeah. Um, and the colonel's niece. Her personality can be described as an extroverted, as extroverted and rebellious. She drinks, smokes, and dates several young men. She <laughs> dresses in the style of a 1920s flapper. So <laughs> that's flapper, by the way, with an F. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We know what she really is. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just gonna right-click some stuff here. Matt, what happens if you say to the doctor, "Ask about Lillian's problems"? Oh yeah, Let me it, try that. Could, could you could you get that detail with it? I don't I'm know. not sure. It doesn't. <laughs> this game does not understand problems. Hmm. <laughs> There's quite a lot of things within each room that you could think there might be some kind of clue under yeah. or yeah. within yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. There's the elevator there as well, isn't there? It obviously goes up to the colonel's room. Uh, yeah, yeah, it must do. Okay, there's a small glass Ooh, case here. And we've got small Fifi. Black case. Go away, Fifi. <laughs> <laughs> She's hopping around again as she does. <laughs> oh. So there's a gun here, I guess. It's a small Ooh. glass case, did I say? Well, okay. What the... What's a derringer? Is that a gun, is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. She mentioned those cases at the back of the room as well, did she? When you looked at... When you... When you when you looked when you first came in, it was it said the cases catch your attention. The cases, which ones? Mm. There's a cabinet. Look, There's a cabinet, and yeah, if you if you press look around look around again, yep. Mads, and I think it kind of specifically mentions those two cabinets at the back of the room, which it hasn't really done before. That's true. Let's just uh, check them out then. Go away, Fifi. Here we go. <laughs> A fancy cabinet with leaden glass doors. I wonder if she'll do that when Fifi's here. Yeah, she will. Have you done any game saves, Matt? Nope, not yet. Yeah, I was just going to say that in case you can walk in Fifi's path. Yeah. Okay. To walk into the fire. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me see. Ooh, there's a boomerang here. Boomerang. A cutlass. A dagger. A mace and a crossbow. Okay. Cranky. Oops. Take weapons. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to. I suppose, gonna I suppose one of those. I imagine one of those will be taken. Yes. Some yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to save here. So act one. Should be saved now. Let's just. Okay. It is. Cool. <laughs> Look at fireplace. No, no, no. So is that a, 
There's a rhino hanging that? up there. So you want to yeah, try to go outside? outside? I think this door probably leads outside. Or should we what try the other rooms globe? first? It's, prob it's probably not him. Which there's a globe sort of sitting on its own in the corner. Yes. Oh, yeah, sure. I don't think this game is, is one for kind of hidden away clues and things like that, but I might be able to check it out. I'll check it out. Did you try the other cabinet or? Nope, I'll try that. So there was different kinds of weapons in the first one. A dagger, a uh, sword of some some a cutlass is that what it's called? And a boomerang and I love the way Fifi oh. totters over to every corner of the room. <laughs> <laughs> well she's very meticulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's doing it all in the wrong order. So we've got a rifle rich. collection here. Lots of weapons. Get okay. rifles. Nope. Hmm. So we can know that the go, is there. Yeah. Can you go back to the other cupboard and yeah. have a look what's in there just so I can You want to write it down? It. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No worries. Because if something goes missing, then you turn around and say, hey, Blake, what's missing? I'm going to be like, um... exactly. <laughs> There you go. So if you can read it out. Yep. So. It's got a a boomerang. Yeah. And a cutlass. Mm hmm A dagger. Yeah. A oh, mace. Dagger, so yeah. Too. And a mace. Yeah. And a crossbow. Okay. Hmm. Okay, you got it? And yeah, and Fifi's currently in the room. Yes. So if anything goes missing, yeah. She'll have it. Exactly. So you want to go back and go through the building, or sh you want to go outside? Can we go outside from here? Yeah, I think uh, that door seems to be leading outside, doesn't it? Which way did we come in? I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. We came in from the we came in from the right. Okay. Yeah, we did. So now we're outside, but I think we should go through the house first and meet all the different people. Yeah, right? I agree. Yeah. Oh, she says she wants to go inside anyway. Hint, hint. <laughs> hint, hint, yes. <laughs> so I like the graphics here. I, I love these old uh, EGA style games. It kind of, kind of reminds me a little bit there where you couldn't go outside of uh, of uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City where you're stuck on the right hand side of the map. Okay. It's, oh, there's, <laughs> there's a terrible fog. You can't cross any of the seven <laughs> bridges that lead to the other yeah. side. So. The bridge is down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's the dining room now. Okay. I'm not drawing any kind of map of the house, but I've got a rough idea as yeah. where everything is. So. Let's see what you have. Yeah, just bear with me one second, I'll be back in a second. Yep. Cool. Have a look on the. Yeah, I was just going to say, have a look at the top of the fireplace. See what's there. Yeah. There's a chandelier. Mm. There's not a lot of. There's not a lot of interesting stuff. Out of the ordinary. No. I did think that crack on the floor by the doorway was a bit strange, but then noticed there's a few others in yeah right. in within this room. So. I've actually clicked them. Nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> so I have a bit of a problem using the mouse because I want to keep it old school. So it's uh, one of those old uh, mouse oh, yeah. uh, ball mouse. Isn't that what you call <laughs> them? Yeah. I remember having one of those on my Amiga, just constantly having to clean it. Yeah. <laughs> but it has to feel just right. Mm. <laughs> So I'll I'll wait in the just wait before I enter the next room now. Hmm. What is that thing in the bottom right? Let's have a look. He, she just says it's a lovely piece if I click it. Let's do that. Like a trophy or something like that? Hmm. There we go. Nope, doesn't understand that. Did I spell that wrong or and it's just replaying on my no it's spelt it right okay hmm. does make you want to get violent in this game doesn't it like, smash <laughs> yeah I need to find a clue in this room it's got to be somewhere if it was a Zelda we'd be running around smashing up all the pots and pans and stuff yeah <laughs> the did I miss the murder 
No, no, you didn't. We uh, wow. stayed in this room, waiting for you. <laughs> There's nothing in here, by the way. We yeah. so pretty much clicked anything, everything. I think if you, I think if the murder had happened while you weren't on the stream, you'd probably be our number one suspect. Yeah, That's how <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Where was you thirty seconds ago? <laughs> Oh, I've so got we alibi. found the kitchen right. here. This is, I think it's Cecil. Let's have a look. Yes, oh, okay. Celie. Celie, okay. Celie is the colonel's cook. She is quite su superstitious and somewhat reserved, but she can be friendly and helpful if approached cautiously. It is said that she dabbles in voodoo. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it just dabbles in voodoo, not, you know. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's talk to her. Oh, I'm gonna. I want to look at that coffee as well. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what? it just shows how much things have changed, doesn't it? In twenty years, like to our modern sensibilities, having a black cook and a bl mm. like a black woman washing the dishes and it being so overt, the fact she's black, it just shows how much things have changed in twenty yeah. years. I'm gonna write woman here because I forgot her name. Celi. <laughs> Celi. <laughs> No worries. She's she's, she's 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 called woman now. No worries. The dog even has his own, own profile in the manual. So this is uh, the dog is Beauregard, hmm. and he's the colonel's dog, a lazy old bloodhound. He can be observed lying near his dog house most of the time. So okay, but not right now. Being a blood bloodhound might be handy to sniff stuff out. Oh. I just accidentally walked outside. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the doghouse. Let's go in again. Hmm. So, is there anything you'd like me to check out here? Oh, excuse me. I'm um, I'm right picking all kinds of stuff here. There's a fridge, ice box, of course. Um, Try speaking to the dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's ask ask the dog about the curl. Come on. Bark at dog. <laughs> Let's try that. No, you can't bark in this game. I know before I started the game, and in the manual, it talks about Polly the parrot, which mm. we still haven't seen yet. Yeah. Which I think is still my number one suspect. <laughs> but it does say in the manual that the Colonel's parrot sits on his perch in the parlor. He talks when he is in the mood or when properly motivated. So if you see any mm. potential goodies. Yeah, that yeah, a parrot might like. Then pick them up because we'll need those. So I just picked up a soup bone. So now we have something that's uh, good for the dog if we want to move him at some point. Okay. Okay. Super. Yeah, I was thinking about that parrot as well because you mentioned yeah. mentioned him earlier on. Just try giving the bone to the dog. Okay, we can do that. that. Does anything? Yeah, no worries. I'm just running back into the kitchen. Boom, 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 boom. She's not running very fast though. Okay, here we go. Yep, she does that. Hmm. It's very well done. I mean, when you give stuff to, like you give the bone to the dog, it's mm -hmm. animated all the way through, and now he's chewing the bone. And uh, yeah, it's pretty well done for such an old game, I think. Lots of bespoke animation here. See, when you do something, so like when you gave the bone to that dog, then it's just like, I'm, I'm not sure whether we should have done that or whether that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, it seems like, okay, there's a dog, there's a bone, give the bone to the dog. Yep. And any other game that might work, but in this one, I'm thinking, ah, we've just lost a bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that may be the case. Let's see. Okay, we've got a sculpted marble bar and a parrot. Hey, we've got the parrot. I'm not sure how far ahead Richard I am right Parents now. Has just left a message in Discord saying he's having technical issue. Okay. So he's just popped out of the uh, yep. the voice channel. Okay. So I'm sure we'll try and get back on in a minute. Yeah. I'm hoping uh, he's still parlor. watching though because 15 minutes just passed. And who have we got oh, here? I I missed that. So it's 7:45. Is it? Yes. 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 Okay. Sorry, guys. That's all right. I was 
I was temporarily disconnected for some reason. Okay. <laughs> but I am back. We just right. entered this new room and we found the parrot. Yeah, I was watching, uh, but I, I couldn't. Who have we got here? This is likely to be uh, Clarence Sparrow. No, he's a the the guy on the right. Uh, Clarence is the colonel's attorney. He manages all of the colonel's business affairs and accounts. He seems rather sneaky, and he has said that he lusts after the colonel's money. Mm -hmm. And the lady on the left, I'm not sure who that okay. is. It could be Gertrude. We'll have to speak. Yep, I'm going to start with Clarence here. And he doesn't want to talk to me. Let's see. About Colonel. <laughs> He's a very sour mm. man. And that could be Gertrude? I think so, yeah. I think the only other... Please leave us be, Laura, she says. Yeah, you're right, she is uh, Gertrude here. She, and they're not interested in talking to us at all. That's mm. just. I'm just going to try to ask her about the girl. But you talk to the parrot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She did say something about the colonel. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Gertrude is the widow of the colonel's younger brother. She's known as money grabbing, snobbish, and bossy. She has a fondness for jewelry, especially pearls. Mm -hmm. So all of all of the paintings have that kind of hollow eye. Yeah, mm. yeah, they do. It's got to be some way of getting behind yeah. the walls. I should imagine. Yeah. Well, you can't ask the parrot about peanuts. Mm. What the parrot's like? <laughs> <laughs> nope. He doesn't want to talk to me right now. No, no we need to give him something. Once again? What happens, if, what happens if you just type listen? Let's try. You listen intently. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you're probably right. Something sinister has to happen before she goes into full on yeah. detective mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna well, grab that horse. I mean at the moment we're just walking around meeting the characters, aren't we? Yeah, and making time pass. I'm going to walk out of this room unless you want me to check something. No, I think that's it. Should we try right. the door on Paul. the right? or P, uh, On the Discord, uh, Paul seems to have joined chat. I can't hear him at the moment. I don't know whether he's, he's there or not. Yeah. Hi, Paul. You there? He probably uh, is. The the type. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe what he's just the trying to get the man? microphone working. The statue of the okay. horse? Oh, that one. Yeah. Hmm. It, the one in the... Uh... Yep, yep. I am... Uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe this is kind of like an introduction to the characters yeah. now, and I'm yeah. thinking maybe when we go back up, yeah, stairs, if we've, yeah, yeah. So I think we've been through all the rooms here. There's a door here, mm -hmm. but it probably leads outside, right? Looks like to the, the door to the right. Yeah. Uh, in uh, front of me right now. I'm not. Again, I'm not sure how far behind you are. Yeah. In front of me yeah, now. I think it's it's maintaining about ten seconds. So, did we check those back two rooms? Yeah, we checked all okay. rooms downstairs. Now, yeah. have four uh, of them. Let's try going back into the colonel's room. Yeah. I think. Okay, and that was upstairs, right? Oh, I just walked thing. outside again. <laughs> 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 it's tough. <laughs> I noticed when we did come down the stairs for the first time and you looked at that statue, there was it changed yeah. the camera yeah. angle, changed to quite like a yeah. close up vision mm. of it. So. I was uh, looking at that axe as well because that could also be a, a murder weapon. Mm. So the Colonel's room was the one up here, wasn't it? Yeah. So he's still just sitting there. I found this game really hard to control with the mouse, especially if you're in a room with. Yeah. Uh, in the bedrooms because you naturally expect like if you click on one section for the character to automatically navigate around items of furniture to get yep. to that point but that's... whereas this game it doesn't it just kind of gets stuck or 
Yeah. It stumbles across something, nothing happens. That's why I switched to uh, to keyboard controls here because mm. the the pathfinding is not very good. Is that uh, two? I don't know. It's a reflection on the floor. It looks like some maybe. I oh, know it is. I thought it was some kind of smashed glass or something. But no. yeah, it's, uh, it's the really reflection like of the light. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. Hmm. So he's just I mean, sitting there. I suppose it, presumably, if we ask him about his weapons, he's just going to tell us to. Um... Let's do it. Try pushing him. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I feel like we need to do something to trigger the event. He's not very talkative. No, he really isn't. So we've been all around the house now. Should we go back and talk to Lillian yeah. about... Yeah. I think so. Yeah, there's nothing obvious, is there, that we can do, which would... Not really. <laughs> Your friend's here again. Charming. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's uh, drinking again, it seems. So, perhaps we need to go outside. We've been everywhere. Probably haven't done nearly everything, but uh have a quick check on the um on the sound being output from Twitch. I can't hear any music, I can just hear us speak and I don't know whether it's yeah, there's got no, tired and there's, just stopped. So. There's no game sound there's no game sound right now. Okay. Nothing at all. Not even doors mm. opening and closing, so um that's just how it is, apparently. Yeah. Why don't you try going outside, Max? Yeah, I'll try. So when we're outside, the the map that's on the Twitch stream right now is is the area, so mm. should be able to navigate by that. Okay. Hmm. Considering the murder hasn't actually happened yet, we're not doing <laughs> too well at the moment. <laughs> are we? we are still in Act One out of eight, so. I'm gonna look at this statue here. That's probably the colonel, right? Yeah. Yes. Anything special about it? No. So, I'm walking to the left. It's the west side of the. Shed yeah, I'm just going there. Looks interesting, doesn't yeah. it? This is the, um, it feels a bit more like a text adventure, doesn't it, in these bits? You are at the west of the gravel path kind yeah. of thing. I can't enter I the playoffs here. I was talking to Paul on Discord, said he was trying to join the chat on his phone, but yeah. he couldn't work it out. So he said <laughs> he was uh, not trying to join us on the computer. I said, uh, that'd be a good idea. We need your help. <laughs> yeah. So, in a second, you'll see why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like the comical eyes there. <laughs> I like all of that bespoke animation. And again, details. Look yeah, at this when I'm walking through the mm. puddle. Yeah, so many nice little details here. Yeah, it's Which nice. The section of this on is this on the map because oh. every time I look at my other screen something tends to happen in the main one that I've missed. So. <laughs> I'm not sure. We're just uh, east of the house I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah I can see it on the uh, the map. I'm going to try to go back to the place with the colonel's um, statue. See if we can navigate can from there. you open that door Max? Did you try and open that door? I tried. It didn't work. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the any characters in the manual you haven't yet met. Not, uh, I think we've uh, pretty much covered everyone, haven't we? Yeah. Not the no no the the oh, um, the butler. We haven't met him or we haven't uh, yeah. talked to him. He was in the opening title sequence, but not. Uh, yeah. I don't know where he is actually. No, me neither. And Blaze is the only other one, which is the Colonel's old horse. Lives in the stables. Wherever yeah. that is. There'll be a stable somewhere. Mm. Okay. So you think this is a game where I could fall into the water and be eaten by the yeah. the alligators? <laughs> Probably. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'm gonna save here. 
and see if I can fall down. Golor. <laughs> I died. <laughs> but the alligator didn't eat me. <laughs> like all video game characters, she can't swim. No, exactly. <laughs> Well, Guybrush Freeboot can hold his breath for 10 minutes. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told my daughter about that when she was in the bath earlier on. She was trying to hold her breath. I think she got to about eight seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I know someone who can hold his breath for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I'm nuts. That, was that smoke coming from the chimney before? I'm, I don't know. Not sure. That. Not sure. Hmm. Maybe it's on fire. Perhaps. Oh, nice. That path there that runs that brown path yep. obviously is the path that's on the um on the map there, isn't it? Yeah, must be. So it's actually it's actually quite large the island and mm. yeah. I'm just gonna check out this gazebo. Mm-hmm. Look around. How long is it going to be? How long is it going to take until we uh, we all admit that we need help? Well, I'm very close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you got? Right, I've got my I've got my phone in my hand. <laughs> I I find I the nice drawing. I can't imagine playing, nice imagine playing this game as a as a teenager. And like being drawn to it over and over again. I think perhaps I actually played a lot of t uh, text adventures back then. Mm. So, so I think this could probably be something for me. I didn't have like tons of games, so I would spend a lot of time playing simple text adventures, for example. Yeah. Are you ready for? Are you ready for some hints? Yes. Okay, so so this is from the SierraHelp.com. Yep. Um, and it, and it's the walkthrough and the general points. It says when it says to talk to someone, ask ask about all other characters: Henri, Ethel, Lillian, Gertie, Gloria, Rudy, Clarence, Wilbur, Jeeves, Fifi, Sally, Beauregard, Blaze, and Polly. To spy on people in rooms, push armoires upstairs, and push clock and mirror downstairs to enter passageways. Okay. So we have to Go push up the upstairs. upstairs and, yeah. Yeah. So upstairs push armoires and downstairs push clock and mirror. Okay. And then you can look through the eye holes of pictures. Okay. Let's try that. I'm just gonna try to find my way back here. Oh. In in the first room, we have to look at the picture, look at the shoot, go over and open shoot, and then close the shoot. What shoe okay. is that? Okay. Yeah. I'm just at a an old building here outside the house. I'm trying to think where the stable is. Hmm. So should we go back to the main building? I think so. Yep. I don't think we're having much luck outside, are we? So. Nope. Apparently, one of the commands that you should use is spy on. Okay. So when we're looking on. through the uh, the the paintings. Yeah. Well, it just says. I mean, on the wall. I'm trying not to get too far on the walkthrough, but it says uh, spy on Ethel and Lillian in your room. Smell air. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like this could be quite hard to figure out by yourself. <laughs> yeah. So spy on, I, I would s suppose you can only do that when you're not visible, when you're hidden somehow. Yeah, it's not the most accessible of games, is it? No. Just looking at some of the, the so some of the common verbs you might try in the game, that oh. in the manual, and... Um... What the? <laughs> Out of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
That was a cheap death. <laughs> okay. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> it was a good thing you made me save. Mm. Hmm. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, go back to the house. It's... What? Not again. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. Try knocking on the door? Oh, you in? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Seemed to have to pick the left one. Okay, <laughs> so you said I should... Oh, oh, look at that. It's falling down now. Well, it's moving at least, the chandelier. I'm not, not falling. Oh, keep away from that chandelier. So, is this the one I'm supposed to push? No, I think it was in the. Is it in the very first room? Okay. I'll try it. I don't know. Yeah, give yeah. it a go. Okay, okay. Just have a look here. Uh, push. Ah, uh, more. You're not close enough. Well, I'm s almost standing on it. <laughs> you could try. I was just having a look at the list of words it says in the manual. One of them is pry. Oh, look at that. And pry. Yeah. You have found a small hidden room in the house. Within. Oh, now we can spy on the colonel, I think. Ah, simply better. Oh, and we can look both ways, actually. Let's see, um, look at painting. What picture? I didn't say picture, I said painting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, look through picture. What the? <laughs> what about if you say spy on? Okay, spy on kernel? Yeah. This game does not understand spy. Oh, that's ridiculous. The walkthrough says it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, examine? Yeah, yeah. We need to know how to look through these paintings. Look is a key word. Yeah. Uh, you found a small hidden room in the house. Try to look at horse or look at... Um, I see nothing there. special. Look through horse you see nothing special what's that door um, yeah there's a door there that's true open door oh another door oh no there's somebody in the room <laughs> oh what's good okay we need to figure out how to look through the paintings I can't even right click and look at them at them hmm. okay let me I'm I'm gonna go to the uh I'm just looking at the um at the wall too. Yep. Hmm. Oh I'm gonna try to push the other one as well, see if there's a secret room mm. so we can listen in on uh Lillian and her mother. But did you go back into into her bedroom? And if you oh, there's a secret. Oh, you want me to look at the paintings first? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, he's gone again. Okay. Oh yeah, he's having You're some technical fine. issues. There's another he's secret back. room here, and what can we do here? Okay, uh, look through picture. Let's just say listen first. Let's listen. You examine listen picture. Intently. Try examine. What picture? You don't see any pictures. Mm. That's weird. Um, I've got to use their names. I'm not sure. Spy. Doesn't understand spy. Listen. To. to Try examine. Walk. Examine Gertrude picture. Nah, 
he must be confused. Gertrude is not here, that's what she says. Mm. Hmm. Who's that picture on the wall? I thought that was Gertrude. Yeah, it could be. You think we have to look at the pictures in the room to, to realize that there are holes in the eyes first? Like within the other rooms, or...? I, th I think this is pretty... The fact that the picture is kind of like... Floating in midair was, would be enough. Yeah, yeah. So if I open the door, she'll probably... Yeah, there's somebody in the room. It would be nice because we could listen in on people here, so... Mm. And, but if, if I just say listen... Nothing happens. Oh! <laughs> That's weird. Hmm. We need help, Clarence. <laughs> Sorry, disconnected again. Yeah, no worries. Sorry, I'm back. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So walk into walk into the bedroom. Yes. So the proper room in the house. Yep. Not not the secret room. Yes. What do you want me to do in here? And what if you type "spy on"? Um, spy on Lillian and Ethel. What happens then? Oops. This game does not understand spy. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> you gotta find another another guide there. Try. Okay. So here we go. Picture right. and typing in "look in holes." Um, let's see the hollow look. There's a, if I look at the wall here, there should be a picture here. Yeah. Beneath right. Okay. Instead of three small pictures, you notice a small door in the wall. Okay. Yeah. What do so you say? So mad. Yep. You need you need to get to the carriage house. Outside. So yeah, I'm just looking down the wall. It looks as if it goes through all of the various interactions that you can make, but it doesn't doesn't suggest that you do anything until you get to the gar to the carriage house. Okay, let's go outside again then. I assume it's outside. But let's not go under that uh, chandelier. No. I think it's that, yeah, the horse plays as the only character that we haven't been introduced yet. Yeah, so that's true. I imagine that it's trying to get you to in an introduction to all the characters. Yeah. When when you walked out, Mads, through the the room which had all the weapons in, she she automatically went back inside, didn't she? No, I I did. Oh, did you? Well, because it, it on the walkthrough it kind of follows on from that room with the weapons. It talks about the carriage house, so maybe you have to go out through that room. Okay, I can do that. That was in here, I think. Perhaps. Yes. Was it that way, or was it out through the the study? I think it was this way through the library, wasn't it? That, yeah, that's uh, yes. Hmm. Yep, that was it. And she's still cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do you want me to go? So. To the carriage house. <laughs> I don't know Thanks where a lot, that mate. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't here. That's the playhouse. All right, this is the west side, isn't it? Of the building, it said. So yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, west side. Yeah, of course. Um, see a rusted oh, iron bell. I don't know if you can go to the background. I found a bell no, tower an here. Somewhere oh, there's an oil can in the carriage house. There's an oil can. Okay. So, looking at the map, can you see the carriage house? So you can see where I'm right now. I'm at the bell tower. <laughs> Can't really tell what the sections are on the map very it. well. Right, I can see the bell tower. Carriage house. Okay, I think the carriage house is you need to go. So this is the bell tower. This is the chapel. Oh. Okay, so if you go, Mads, if you go back to the bell tower. Yes. And then what? Uh, and then go south back towards the house. And then you, if you can walk around the side of the house. It looks as if the carriage house is kind of a, attached to the house. Okay. I think I have to go this way. I know, way there's then. the carriage house. So if you go back to the, so go back to the kind of the gravel path, you know, the kind of, 
right where the house was in the middle and we ended up where you jumped into the water. So this place? Let's I see, you, see it, just right. just a second. Keep going, yeah. So keep going back as if you were going back to where the, the, the alligators were. Ah, okay. okay, yeah. Big version of the picture up now, but... So now I'm at the south edge here. Let me go so the edge. carriage house is kind of bottom left of the map. Okay. If you walk out of the yeah. gate. I need to go outside. Oh, yeah. Outside yeah, of the, the gate. The path I think you need to get outside carriage. of the okay. gate, yeah. Okay, okay, yep. There's a separate entrance. Okay. Yeah, just try going that way. Well, you, yeah, you could, you might be able to walk across the back. Hmm. Yes, if you walk off to the left. There's this sense of foreboding, but nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. It's oh oh, there's an alligator. It it killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh no. I'm not too crazy oh, about wow. this game right now. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with the What's wrong with the face for the other guy to take her away as well? <laughs> Well, at least you only have to start. Maybe if you walk in through the gate and walk across the grass as you were going to originally. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I'm um, I, I'm thrilled with the look of this game and the the the, the feeling, and it's. Uh, it's very really, very well made, but I'm not crazy about the story no. or the 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 gameplays too so far. No, no, I feel bad as well because this was my recommendation. <laughs> no I'm worries. Very quiet about that. <laughs> we could be playing goblins. Yeah, we could. We could. I've, I've never played a game like this with kind of like the whole the act and the scene and the time and stuff. Mm. It kind of acts. Uh, it adds another level of. Well, at the moment, confusion. Um, and but... I really want it to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Can't be playing good games all the time. But this could still end up being good. Let's just see. Oh. Right, there's an oil can somewhere. You need to get the oil can. Okay. Watch out that squirrel doesn't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning you into a, a comic character again. So. <laughs> Yeah, when that alligator was dragging her away, its face kind of looked like. Um, <laughs> uh... I've got an oil can. Woohoo! Yay! Well, look managed, at me. We managed to pick up an item. Yes. <laughs> Anything <laughs> else you want me to do right. in here? The anchor. Right. Well, you now need to go back. You need to go to the chapel. Okay, I think I can find that actually. Let's just go there. You chapel it's uh, surprising that we've gone this far without the colonel getting murdered or whoever is going yeah. to get murdered I, I thought they would uh, try to start it off with a with a bang <laughs> I imagine yeah. act, act one is the lead up to the murder and then yeah oh, craggy. there's seven acts isn't there yeah. eight eight yeah <laughs> uh, wait a second yeah, there's something in the manual about you could uh, have you could set the walking speed to be faster, wasn't there? Yes. Oh, the, no, I think it's the speed of that. the game. Oh, so... look at that. Look at this. Woohoo! I'm running around now. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go into the chapel. Oh, it's a bit hard to control now. I'm going to oh, make that's it. That's better. That's quicker walking speed. Is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to fill in the gaps anymore. This is a cemetery. Right now, you, right, you need to. Okay, this is terribly cheating, but there, there you go. Um, uh, we'd never have got this. No. Is so, it really um, hard? So, you need to stand near the podium. Yes. And then open the floorboard. What? Who would ever guess that? Oh. Oh, hang on. Open floorboard with crowbar. Where's the crowbar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so bad at this. 
Okay, it isn't too... Uh, it isn't that uh, hard anyway, because when you walk over the floorboard, it will say that it sags slightly. So mm. so you do okay. get a hint, but still, you, you need to walk exactly in that spot, and why, why should I'm, you do that? I'm just going to read back over the walkthrough and figure out where the crowbar <laughs> comes from. I knew I shouldn't have given that bone away. We've got to use that to open it instead. <laughs> so I'm going to go into the cemetery while you read on that. Probably I'll be killed by Google. Right, hang on, let me have a look. Did people have their own private chapels like that back in the 20s? Not sure. Well, <laughs> with his money. What is that at the back left there? It looks like some kind of... Apparently, to look through the pictures, we have to say, look through eye holes. Okay, okay. They could have made that a bit more lenient. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going into a tomb now. Hmm. You think I'm going to survive this? I don't know, it looks like an automatic door to some kind of shop. Okay. She just walks outside again. So where do I need to go to get the uh, the crowbar? I have no idea. <laughs> I think we're going to have to get two people on the walkthrough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a tough game. Now, what you need... So, if you go back to the, the house... Okay, you can... You can... Look at that you speed. Can oil, you can oil the helmet of the armour and open the helmet. <laughs> who, who would guess that? But it's it just feels like Mads is flicking through pictures now. There's yeah. character moving that quick, but... It's very hard to control now. Ooh. <laughs> there is there is no mention of the crowbar. I'm going to a different walkthrough. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna oil the helmet. Let's just Yeah. Okay, let's so if you look at if you look at the helmet. You see nothing special. If you what about if you look at armor? With one gloved hand holding a battle axe, and although it's well polished, all of its joints are completely rusted. So if I say take axe, for example. Oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, oil. Uh, oh, you, the the crowbar is in the carriage where we got the oil can from. Oh no. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oil. What about the oil helmet? <laughs> no, steady on now, guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I can take the helmet or what? You can't get that. I, I did oil the helmet now, but what what uh, what did that get me? <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Oh, apparently you can say full conversation with character and it will go through all of the conversation options. Okay. Ah. All the names as well, or...? No, you just say full conversation with character. Hmm? Right, hang on, I will tell you... Um, so you've oiled the helmet. My wife is sniggering in the back. I'm really trying not to laugh. I'm gonna run over and get that crowbar now that I know how to run yeah, fast. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, I, th I think the walkthrough is even harder than the game. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay, I can look at the carriage. It doesn't say anything about a crowbar. Look in carriage. And there's a crowbar, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Wow, this is a hard game. Oh, you can now open the helmet, Mads. Okay, I couldn't take it I, and I couldn't push it. But uh, open? No, I'll but try. You, you can open it, apparently. Okay. I must say, I've played a lot of text adventure games that were easier to control than this one. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to spoil all your fun, but you can now use the crowbar to get a Bible. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So, Matt is just having too much fun here. Okay. <laughs> Open helmet. There we go. And there's something inside. And there's a small metal valve. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. And a note. I think we're almost at the end of Act 1. Yeah, I think so as well. Because mm. looking at the, the crowbar bit, there's like one paragraph left. Use this wolf handle with your favorite water nymph. <laughs> okay. The what? <laughs> I'm not, I don't know, man. <laughs> Oh, everyone has a favourite water nymph. Come of on. course they do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to the chapel now. So apparently the final thing, after you've got the Bible, because this walkthrough assumes that we've already got that, look at Gertie sleeping in her room. Okay. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah. I know. Okay, so now I'm going to use the crowbar, I guess. Use yeah. crowbar, oops, with crowbar. No, okay, did I, s I said user, okay. Just watching this now, it just reminded me of all the adventure games where I've just got horribly stuck. You know, it, also makes, it makes me realise how good Lucas Arts was as well. Yeah, I presume oh, you both played um, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. a wonderful game. There's one bit in that game that got us stuck for ages, and it was ah, uh, oh, I can't think of the name. You you've got to push the girl in front of the street performer. Mm. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, I got I got stuck <laughs> on that for it must have been weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine I had Amiga format walker in front of me. Before. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've yeah, finished most of the uh, LucasArts games, but a few of them I haven't. A few, a few exceptions, like um, Indiana Jones 3. I remember I got to the, the castle, and mm. then there were these fighting scenes all, of, all the time, and I couldn't figure out how to do that, so I just quit the game. Yeah, it's like the bike scene of Full Fuckle, isn't it? You know, but why they spoil the adventure games by putting yeah. bits in like that. Yeah. Yeah, we actually, we just talked about it earlier. I mean, um, Full Throttle is a wonderful game. It's probably my least mm. favourite LucasArts game, though. I just had a quick check of the, uh, the, the the audio on the Twitch stream and the music that was at this section of the game. Wow. Yeah. It's just like some really horrible, dull organ type music. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's amusing in most parts of this game. Yeah. But I still like to hear it played on the on the Roland MG32. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got here? This is inside the front cover of the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Okay, another note for Sarah here. The bell will ring. Oh, there was a hint here to actually go look at the um, the, the armor. It says mm. Sir Lancelot will forever salute us. Yeah. Oh, Sarah. Okay. The, the bell. We have to do something with the bell tower. Those games. I wonder if it's one of those games that just gets better as it as it kind of <laughs> goes on. I hope <laughs> it does. <laughs> but apparently now to end the chapter. We just need to go and look at Gertie sleeping in their room. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which character was Gertie, Blake? Uh, Gertrude was the the one. Uh, uh... She's a platinum blonde who looked like Ric Flair. Was no, it? no. Gertie is the widow of the Colonel's younger brother. I think she was wearing kind of like a a, a greeny. Oh. Uh, she was talking to uh, Clarence Sparrow, which is the uh, hmm. the business affairs accountant. Okay. Got it's in the room with the gals. parrot, I think it was. Yeah, I think. Wow, look at that dust. <laughs> <laughs> is it this one? No, that was the kitchen. <laughs> All right, again. It's good that you can uh, adjust the walking again. speed. Yeah. yeah, thankfully. Okay, she's gone oh, now, no. at least, Gertie. Uh, no, it wasn't in that room. It's the room with the parrot. So that's uh, it... we're in the room yeah. with the parrot now. But uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Is that G? 
Jeeves. Yeah. Yeah, we talked to him earlier on. So Gertie <laughs> is upstairs somewhere in her bed. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick <laughs> up this cognac here. Nope. Can you drink? Not, no, he, she just says she she doesn't care care for liquor. So you said we had to go upstairs? Yeah, yep. I think we need to find Gertie. Yep. <laughs> It'd be nice to see Act Two, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we sign off. <laughs> That's Rudy and Clarence. They stay in here. That's the wrong one. Gertie. Over here, perhaps. There she is. And some time. Ooh, Act Two. Yay. Would you look at that. We've made it. <laughs> so, is this as far as we're going to get today? <laughs> uh, that was painful. <laughs> it was a bit painful, actually. It's, it's a very beautiful game, and there are so many nice details with the animation and the graphics, but yeah. it's not the best gameplay I've ever tried. I have to say. When it tells you in the manual, it's just like, talk to everyone about everyone. It's just like, hold on a second. This is going to take ages. Yeah, it is. 